Hey guys, it's Roger one and only. My name is AJ. Welcome back to Let's Build a City. Today, we're by the wind turbines, the ones that we built like about 320 odd episodes ago. Uh, because I want to have like a little caged area where some energy is stored. Uh, you come across them usually like in, in wooded areas or, or, or like a little bit off the road. They usually have like a high fence around them, load of warning signs all over it. Um, usually like a little um, like storage shed or something for like maybe a security guard to work in or, or, or something like that, get out of the rain. Uh, but then most of it is just like these big power conduit looking things that sort of go into the ground. And then I would suppose feed the uh, the national grid. It's like a little power bank thing here. And I think I've flattened it all out nicely to a to a decent size. That I'm sure we could put like a little what are they called st energy storage facility. I think is what they're sort of called. Um, but I was wondering if here I could somehow get a little road, like a little dirt road, not a, not a tarmac one, but a little dirt one that sort of just comes around here and through these trees. Oh, there's a path here. And then, and then join up to the caravan park just for like little, um, you know, off-roady Land Rover sort of utility vehicles to be able to get up if there's a problem for whatever reason. If there's already a path here though, where does this path go? This is a footpath, not a vehicle path. Oh, it does go this way. Oh, it looks like it just sort of tees off here, which is about ten blocks away from where we need it if I wanted to do a footpath I would really like a little just a little dirt path though but we'll worry about that in a bit and I was thinking about just having it curl up you know and, and around to here so then this part is going to be our um our sort of area well let's let's put down a, a base first let's go with what block would you have for a base I want something stony gravel would actually be I think pretty perfect let's go with gravel so let's go from here to here and set the gravel oh it still worked spelt it right let's turn these off i think that's probably as big as what we're going to need i might just bring it out here a little bit just so i don't like working in squares you see if, if you work in squares it's so uh it looks so generic. If you work in, in usually like a little L shape or, or T shape, it makes any building or any structure or anything just look so much better. So, if we say the fence, four blocks tall, sounds about right. What about five? Five looks pretty good, actually. So, if we go from here to here, and we replace air with iron bar, and if we just run this all for first, if we just run this all, all the way around and then we can work out where we want uh, an exit to be or, or if we're having an entrance and an exit. So we have to secure this very, very well. We don't want anybody people, uh, any people getting in. I think it's a pretty good location though because it's right by the racetrack which obviously is going to need a lot of power. And it's right by sort of uh, the the Grove Street, the sort of lower suburban thing, because it's not exactly a pretty structure, you see. So I thought, oh, that looks pretty good. I like the gravel. I like the gravel. Do I want to change the bottom block to something else, though? A lot of the time, I do like to do something, if I do it from here and over here, like setting it to stone brick or something like that. Replace, oops, spelled correctly iron bar with 98 it just puts like a little foundation you know down underneath i think it just looks a little bit neater if i wanted some barbed wire we could use some spider webs to go around i probably got actual barbed wire overhead wire wire Fine. I, it wouldn't surprise me if there was some kind of barbed wire in in here but let's have let's do a little plan of having the road sort of curl up and around here uh, so if I put like a little entrance here and then this could be like a little uh, parking spot for like a little utility vehicle. I only have one like a little pickup truck is what I would sort of um, hear a lot. Okay and now what we need I think I'm going to do. Uh, I don't really know how I want to do this. Let's just get rid of caps lock. Let's just 
have a play around with the design here. Let's just move it in. So I've got two blocks away from the back there, two blocks away from the right. And I have no idea what size or shape or anything I want. But it'd be cool to have that because it's got like a little line on it. It's a little bit elevated off the ground. I could always put a block down like a pipe. Just like a pipe going in there. You see that looks quite neat. Just going up into there. Uh, and then I want this to obviously go a little bit higher. Let's go with some grey wool. Maybe go a little bit darker now because everything's sort of blending in with the same colour at the moment. I'm not sure if I like this block. You know, I textured this block, like, I think before the series even started, that block. And I haven't ever done anything with it, ever. Uh, it, it's a horrible block. Wool. I do like this wool texture, though. This wool texture is reminding me of a little bit of a, a textured metal. Is sort of what it's, it, it's pulling me towards. And then I want a little line that goes down or something like that. Like a little power line that plugs down there. Um... And uh, what about like a darker coloured fence? Oh, that could work. So it goes up. And into the top there. Okay, I like that. And then what about some like redstone-y stuff? Obviously being being electricity is the closest that we have in, in Minecraft. So let's have that. We'll maybe have a hopper underneath. A lever somewhere, a daylight sensor, perfect, very electrical. Uh, let's have a daylight sensor in that corner then. We'll have a underneath. I'm not sure if I like the pipe. I think I like the, the idea of the hopper. It just has a better shape under there. We'll put a lever on there. It'd be cool if I could have something on the side, like a redstone torch. Um, not really much. A couple of redstone torches on there, maybe. I think that looks pretty good, right? If I put it, oops, um, lever. I always get rid of the block I need. It's a talent of mine. Um, no, I don't like that one there. I want an item. I want an item frame here item frame and in the item frame i want like uh, a meter a compass would work yeah so it looks like it's even perfect it looks sort of like max power do you know what i mean that's what i'm sort of going for like like and you'd see like the power drop as more people are using it so you got like pump more in that's pretty cool okay so if we take this whole design that should get it all and I'm going to stand right here. I'm actually going to cut it first. And I'm going to move it over by a block. Do I want to move it back? I think I want to move it back by a block as well. Um, undo. Paste. Just double check. I'm expecting, you know, item frames to jump off and all that kind of thing. But, yeah, I thought they would. Okay, so if we go here, paste. I don't know what these are. I'm just going to call them like power banks and they sort of store them. Um, they might be called transformers. They might be... I haven't got a clue really. I really don't know. Okay, so we've got a load of these going down here. Let's go and put these item frames back on. Very difficult things to build, these are. A clock would work as well in the item frame, but I think that looks, that looks really neat, hey? Really neat. You could even put these on... Oh, whoa. Oh, I see. <laughs> I forgot that if you right-click with the compass, um, you can travel through things. Look. Um, it's a creative, I, I think it was, it's, it's just a standard creative mode thing. Um, yeah, that's what happened. So you can put these into subtract mode. Like we just have a few of them in, in. 
gives a little bit of difference going on there okay now we need like a little it's almost like a little shipping container really um i don't want nothing too crazy colored up here so i think i'm going to go with a white shipping container and our shipping containers that we do are three by seven i think one two three four five six seven I could go a little bit bigger, but I think I would prefer just to do another one of them instead of just making one big one. So these could have this could have like a little office in. Obviously, it's not big enough for. I suppose we could build one big enough for an office here if we wanted to. Hold on. Would I prefer to have? Well, I suppose I could put these here anyway. Wait, do both? Like have these little shipping containers that have tools in? Is what I'm thinking. Like, um, you know, electrical equipment and, and, and repairing stuff. And then we can have, like, a little room for, like, a little office somewhere. Maybe here. It's about all the room that we've got. Man, that's actually looking really cool. Okay. Um, can I do something like... Let's go with stone... No, I don't want stone brick. I want a different wool again, I think. Or clay. Clay would work as, as a more solid sort of foundation for a building. Okay, that's as big as I can get this. And I don't want it to be in line with those. So I'm just going to bring it in a little bit by one. Uh, I'm going to put a stair. If I could spell. We'll get one of these to go in here. I'm, I'm trying to like really squeeze out all the room that we can clay we'll go with normal clay now for the building itself or for the walls themselves i might be able to move that stair out by one we'll see uh let's go with uh how do i want to do the roof i think i want it to be well the half slab will be tall i don't want it to be the same height as those you see just to give it a little bit of difference um slab quartz would work quartz would work fine so i think we're going to just put this around here fill up the middle and then i might just put a little bit of a an overhang over this front here just a little bit like that i think that's nice uh neat I'm going to move that uh, out by one. For the floor inside, I think we'll just go with a nice standard oak floor in here. Like that. Uh, pop a little window in there. Pop a little window in there. Glass. Go with some white stained glass in here. Nice and clean looking. Um, for some lighting in here, we can go with some glowstone underneath a, a rug. Carpet. The one should be absolutely fine in here we'll go with a stair we'll go with a uh, nice black chair uh, i've got another color sign might as well just do a quick interior here while while we're uh doing this um, we'll go with, I want a little uh, fence post and carpet, little table to go there, um, I want something in the corner there but I really don't know what, no, um, of mycelium with a mushroom on it because why not that's all i'm thinking that's uh, it's a what it's a why not thing maybe if i put a trap door on here it'll look a little bit neater i'll put one of these ones on yeah, why not why can't i have that you tell me um fence carpet still want that there and bookshelves some manuals and stuff like that 
painting. We'll have a TV monitor. Computer monitor. Oh, I tell you what, those button ones would be perfect as well. I want a monitor here, though. There it is. And then maybe here we have the button one. Nope. Yeah, like that. That's good. I like that. Door. I think we're going to put an actual iron door on here. I think I want it that way. Player sensor. Can I put it under here? Would that work? I have no idea. Stair. Some these could be a little bit funky sometimes these player sensors. Yeah. That didn't work. Um Yeah, so I can put it there. It just doesn't look right there, does it? You gotta be right here. No, I'm stuck now. <laughs> Do. I like to be able to just walk through things. I don't want to have to like open them up every time. Um, okay. Button. It's security, I suppose. Ah, oh, I can't because of that stupid table there. That'll work. Okay, fine. Uh, okay, so now that we've got this in, I'm liking all of this, but I want a little bit of height, a little bit of elevation. Sometimes the cables sort of run along something along the top here, maybe even going to the outside. Uh, so let's get, I think walls will probably be a, a decent block for this. And I think I want them in line with this part here. And then we'll run it this way. Just trying to, basically, I'm just trying to make up a load of nonsense. Because that's really, like, what this all looks like. Like, I'm just trying to make up a load of different parts that maybe look like they're supposed to do something. And if you, if you pull that off, we should have something that looks quite cool at the end. So, I've done a little bit, I would say, researched. I literally have googled some images of, of what some of these look like and I've pinned together some of the stuff that I really thought would look good uh, and then just piecing them together so maybe these don't go with like like this thing doesn't go usually with those or they don't have one of these but I'm just sort of picking the all the bits that I like the best and, and then and putting it into one how, how lucky was that we ended up being the same distance again Okay, and then I want I want these to connect up to that somehow. We don't have lead. Oh, I do have lead. You can't. We re really quite cool to like hide a chicken in there or something, and then have a lead connecting to the top, and then you would have like these wires going up. But I'm sure they would just break after like a little while. Um. I don't know how I would hide them either, but just for comical effect. Oh, do I need, I actually need a fence post, do I? I thought I could do them with walls. You see, I could do something like that, and then it looks like wires sort of leading up, but I think that's a little bit, uh, a little bit sort of too much hassle, really. Um, how else could we do it then? What sh no string you can't see? I think I'm gonna have to go with um. Maybe I'll go with normal fence posts. Maybe we we'll go with these because then they don't look like this. They're coming exactly off this, and I don't want them to be. I don't want them to go straight up. Would that be better? No. I think I want them to sort of. sort of twist up a little bit um, I'm trying to think 
How come that's lower than that one? That's good. Where, where the okay, we are so definitely out of time this episode, but I think we've got something really quite creative going on here. Uh, pretty much done with it as well. I'm pretty happy with it. We need a, a road going in. And we need cool. Uh, we need a we need a road coming in uh, to there, a little sort of parking spot, and then we need to surround this place with trees and stuff. But next episode, can you believe, is episode three hundred and twenty-five, uh, which means it's a little world tour. Um, I don't know if we'll be exactly world touring because it really wasn't long ago since we've done episode three hundred, which was a huge world tour obviously uh, but i do have something interesting planned like a little bit of a sort of uh, an ideas th sort of style episode where i'm going to need a lot of like ideas from you guys to um to give me a hand so be tuned for next episode because it's gonna be uh it's gonna be a fun one yeah i think that looks really cool that was quite tricky. That was a lot of work. But I think that looks quite cool up there. That's a little power bank. Alright guys, I'm going to leave the episode here. If you enjoyed it, hit that like button. If you haven't already, feel free to subscribe. We shall see you in the next episode. But be sure to tune into the next episode because um, I'm going to need your help with some stuff. Okay. Bye!